Hmm. The new videos are doing pretty well. Yes. And now you know what you must do. No. No, I can't. You must make a Trinity video. Alienate your user base. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's time to lose some subs. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back again with another episode of 10 Minute Testing. Well, it's that time of the month again, that glorious week where I throw my SEO ranking to the wind in order to shill for my favorite fan-created format of all time, Trinity. For those of you that have yet to hear the good word about our Lord and Savior Treetop Duelist, I'll give you a quick rundown on what the format's about. In an attempt to slow the pace of gameplay and promote interaction, Trinity Format is a format with several rule changes and a custom ban list. Here are the three additional rules. Firstly, you can only summon effect monsters three times per turn. Secondly, you can only play one of any individual card. And thirdly, you can play an additional copy of any unlimited card, a first copy of a semi-limited card, or two co-forbidden cards for every five additional cards you include over your minimum main deck size of 30. As always, this video is timed to coincide with a free-to-play YGO Pro Deck Trinity Tournament, which you can jump into with any of the stuff you'll see in today's video. Links are in the description. With that, let's check out the exciting garbage people are playing this month. Our first deck is a personal favorite of mine and the recent winner of the December Cup, Pendulums. Pendulums are interesting in Trinity because while they don't get access to the extremely broken Electromite setups they have in the TCG, they do get to skirt the summon limit by performing a summon of several effect monsters at the same time. Similarly to how TCG Pendulums is just an amalgamation of the most efficient Pendulum engines, Trinity Pendulums is a mismatch of Abyss Actors, Metal Foes, Odd Eyes, Magicians, and good stuff like Archfiend Eccentric and Skullcrabat Joker that are just too powerful to pass up. We're also playing Format All-Star Tour Guide from the Underworld for early searches, and Thunder Dragon, which does its best impression of existing TCG Pendulum setups by enabling Turn 1 Pallades. It's not exactly Vortex Dragon, but it'll do. Our Trinity is the Co-Forbidden Metal Foes Counter and Perform Pal Skullcrabat Joker. So with that, let's get into the card by card. First, our Abyss Actors. Abyss Actor Comic Relief, Extras, Mellow Madonna, Superstar, and Wild Hope. After that are our Good Stuff cards, Aether the Evil Empowering Dragon, a repeatable Banish effect, and Archfiend Eccentric. We are also playing Black Fang Magician, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, Violet Poison Magician, Rare Metal Foes Bisma Gear, Sangan, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, and Supreme King Gate Zero, three Thunder Dragons Unbound because it utilizes extra copies of itself, Tour Guide from the Underworld, Witch of the Black Forest, Foucault's Cannon, Metal Foes Gold Driver, Silvered, Steelin, Volflame, and Odd Arc Pendulum Dragon. For spells, we've got Duelist Alliance, Metal Foes Fusion, Sky Iris, Spiral Flame Strike, and Summoner's Art. For traps, we're only playing the best, Heavy Storm Duster, Metal Foes Combination, and Metal Foes Counter. Finally, our list rounds out with Perform Pal Skullcrabat Joker. In the extra, we've got Full Metal Foes Alkahest, Metal Foes Mithrilium, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, Constellar Pallades, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, Number 11, Big Eye, Number 61, Volcasaurus, Tornado Dragon, Boral Sword Dragon, Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow, Nightmares Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn, Land Falinkus, and Wee Witch's Apprentice. So with that, let's check out a game. Our match is up against Abyss Actors Pure, so I guess we'll see who the Apex Pendulum deck in Trinity really is! Now, unfortunately for my opponent, I've been an actor for a while now, and if I've learned one thing, it's that you can't trust actors to finish the job. We're going first, which is excellent news, because I like to use hands like this to set up. We're going to start by normal summoning an extras to put a Mellow Madonna in our scale before activating Duelist Alliance for an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, searching a copy of Superstar, setting scales, Pendulum summoning Superstar and extras, before using Bisma Gear to destroy Mellow Madonna for a copy of Counter, and at end step triggering the effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. We'll pass it back to our opponent. They draw into a Storming Mirror Force. They're going to start by normal summoning a Tour Guide from the Underworld, getting a Hollow Hollow, going into Land Falinkus and performing a Pendulum Summon of two monsters. Those two will turn into a copy of Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, who will take on the the attributes of, oh, Superstar. That means they're able to use Superstar's effect to search a copy of Abyss King from their deck. They're going to get in for a sizable chunk of my life points, but thankfully not all of it, which means we should be able to establish a winning board state. We're going to start by setting Eccentric and destroying their scale that doesn't float before activating Counter for a copy of Bullflame. We'll trigger the effect of Skullcrabat Joker, set scales once again, and perform a big Pendulum Summon. One of those Pendulum monsters we summoned is Archfiend Eccentric, so we'll destroy their Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. We'll pop our own Witch of the Black Forest for another Metal Foes spell before attacking, and, well, there's the Storming 
Flying Mirror Force. So all we need here is anything but a scale, and thankfully they do draw a trap card, so they'll pass it back to us. I think they missed an attack, but it doesn't provide lethal, and from here we can win the game. We'll perform a huge Pendulum Summon of everything relevant in our deck and extra deck, and they'll concede. Our second deck was the breakout of the December Cup and the runner-up of that tournament, Danger Dinosaur Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now since Trinity games are usually a slow grind of resource accumulation, the format's not exactly prepared for OTK decks, even if you're OTKing with as mediocre of a card as Vanilla Boot. Since you're allowed to play three of any vanilla, we're loaded up on Blue Eyes and are free to use our three Melody of Awakening Dragon on blue statted monsters like Chaos Emperor the Dragon of Armageddon and Chaos Dragon Leveneer to close out games extremely quickly. In order to ensure we live that long, we're playing an extremely efficient dinosaur package containing Soul Eating Overraptor, Reptier, Fossil Dig, and probably the best co-forbidden card in the game, Dino Wrestler Pankertops. We're on a whopping 50 cards, and our trinities are the co-forbidden Big Daddy Pank and Bigfoot, a second copy of Alternative Dragon, and copies 2 and 3 of Melody of Awakening Dragon. So with that, let's get into the card by card. First we've got our Blue Eyes White Dragons, and you have to play this art or else you will lose. Followed by Alternative White Dragon, Dragon Spirit of White, the White Stone of Ancients and Legends, Master with Eyes of Blue and Sage with Eyes of Blue, and our Dangers. We're on Thunderbird, Dogman, Nessie, and Jackalope. Following that, we have Chaos Sorcerer, Chaos Dragon Leveneer, Chaos Emperor the Dragon of Armageddon, the King of D, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangan, Soul Eating Overaptor, Reptier, and Effect Veiler. For spells, we've got Dragon Shrine, Foolish Burial, One for One, Twin Twisters, Cosmic Cyclone, Premature Burial, Silver's Cry, Return of the Dragon Lords, Called by the Grave, Pot of Desires, Ancient Rules, and you're gonna have to trust me on this one, you will brick, The Melody of Awakening Dragon, Dragon Revival Rhapsody, Mind Control, and Fossil Dig. For traps, we've got Solemn Warning, Lost Wind, Heavy Storm Duster, Infinite Impermanence, Torrential Tribute, Paleozoic Dynamiscus, Karma Cut, Back to the Front, and Our Trinities, Dino Wrestler Pankratops and Danger Bigfoot, a second copy of Alternative White Dragon, and two additional copies of the Melody of Awakening Dragon. In the extra deck, we've got Link Haribo, Wee Witch's Apprentice, Nightmares Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn, Lancelot the Dark Knight of the Underworld, Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy, I swear I'm not making these names up, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, and rounding out the lineup of ridiculous dragons with ridiculous names, Vermilion Dragon Mech. So with that, let's check out a game. Our match is up against Sky Striker Harpy, and unfortunately for us, we have bricked. If you play this deck, you're gonna have to get used to this sight. It happens a lot. We're gonna set one card and pass back to our opponent. Thankfully, the speed of Trinity is low enough that it's unlikely we've lost the game by doing so. Our opponent's gonna start by activating Hornet Bit, then normal summoning a copy of Ray, going into Hayate. We'll respond with a Karma Cut. They will respond with a Called by the Grave. So we are unfortunately not gonna be able to resolve this White Stone of Legend. They're going to special summon this Ray back to their side of the field and get in for 1500. They're then going to set three cards and pass it back to us. For turn we draw, well, Sage with Eyes of Blue is quite good. We'll use it to get a Master to our hand and then go into a Link Haribo so that we don't die next turn. Our opponent's going to draw for turn after going into Shizuku and Enphase, adding a copy of Jamming Waves to their hand, and what do they find? But a Harpy Queen. They'll normal summon that, then activate Elegant Egotist for a Harpy Lady 1, attacking into our Link Rebo, prompting its effect, and getting in for big damage. We should be able to do this, provided those two set cards aren't particularly important. We're going to start by activating Foolish Burial to send a copy of Dragon Spirit of White to the graveyard, then we'll activate Master with Eyes of Blue's effect to get Sage back to our hand, and Link Rebo's effect to get Master Bloom to the graveyard. We'll then special summon this Dragon Spirit of White, targeting their set card. They'll respond with a Lost Wind, but Thankfully, we can tag out for the blue eyes in our hand and banish that card that's set. We'll attack into the Harpy Queen, and we're kind of in the driver's seat on this one. They draw into a Hysteric Sign. They'll go into Kagari, use Kagari to get back Hornet Drones, then go into Cerberus, discarding Hysteric Sign, and then attacking directly for 1600. We're on the ropes now, and unfortunately, Hysteric Sign in the graveyard means our opponent gets to plus two at end step. We draw into a Mind Control. We'll start by activating Sage with Eyes of Blue's effect, then activating Dragon Revival Rhapsody to get a couple of big, beefy boys to our side of the field, and banishing our opponent set card. We'll go into battle phase and then uh, remember that Dragon Revival Rhapsody has text on it before passing it back to our opponent. They'll draw for turn, they'll start by activating Jamming Wave, then chain their own card that they targeted so they can destroy our blue eyes with the second effect of Jamming Wave. They'll then go into a Harpy Perfumer, but thankfully we do have the searched copy of Effect Veiler. They'll pass it back to us and we should be able to win from this position. We'll go ahead and special summon Chaos Emperor Dragon and get back our Dragon Spirit of White one final time before getting in for 500, 1500, 3000, and exact lethal. 
Our third deck is Big Chungus Turbo! Is that joke still funny? No. The meme's dead? No? Okay, I'll edit it out. Start the takeover? Our third deck is Trains. Now since this tournament is happening after the new Duelist pack release, the new Train support is legal, which can only mean one thing. We're playing Liba. This deck aims to use a multitude of rank 10 monsters like the Time Lords in order to facilitate extremely early Doras, and afterwards enormous honking trains. We're on an extremely large Time Lord package complete with Ritual Sanctuary to search Time Maiden alongside the same dinosaur package as last time to make sure we get there. Our trinities are the Co-Forbidden Time Maiden and Fairy Tail Luna, and the Co-Forbidden Dino Wrestler Pankratops and Terraforming. So with that, let's get into the card by card. First, we are playing Knight Express Knight, Speedy Express Bullet Liner, Heavy Freight Train Derek Crane, Ruffian Railcar, Runaway Railcar Flying Pegasus, Tragodia, who is level 10 in case you didn't know, Zaphion, Camion, Exodius, Malefic Cyber and Dragon, who is super greedy, Planet Pathfinder, Soul Eating Overaptor, Reptier, Eccentric, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, Effect Failure, and Seravius. For spells, we've got Revolving Switchyard, Ritual Sanctuary, Chicken Game, Set Rotation, Foolish Burial, Premature Burial, One for One, Twin Twisters, Special Schedule and Urgent Schedule, Called by the Grave, and Fossil Dig. For traps, we've got Metaverse, Lost Wind, Solemn Warning, Torrential Tribute, Heavy Storm Duster, Xyz Reborn, and Metal Reflect Slime. For trinities, we're playing Time Maiden and Luna alongside Pankratops and Terraforming. In the extra, we've got Sky Palace Gangradi, I'm definitely saying that wrong, Dora, Gustav Max, Leva, a bunch of spiders, Lanphalinkus, Mrs. Radiant, Nightmares Cerberus, Phoenix and Unicorn, and Cyber End Dragon, Mega Fleet, and Fortress. So with that, let's check out a game. Our match is up against the only deck greedier than trains, Reactors. We have a pretty excellent opening grip, so we're going to start by activating Revolving Switchyard's effect to get the Crane to our hand. We'll then normal summon a copy of Knight Express Knight, special summon the Crane, go into Dora, set a card, and pass it back to our opponent. Our opponent's going to draw a card and then set four. At end step, we'll activate Heavy Dust Storm to destroy two of them, then draw for turn. What do we find but a Fossil Dig, so we'll use that to get an Overraptor, normal summon the Overraptor, get a Pankratops for later, then activate the effect of Dora, targeting itself so we can activate Crane's grave effect and destroy their Call of the Haunted. We'll activate Premature Burial and go into Liba before attacking their set card. They go into Witch of the Black forest, we attack it with their crane, and then we attack directly with Liba. Unfortunately, they have gotten Armageddon Knight, and that can only mean one thing. On their turn, they're going to draw a card, then normal summon this copy of Armageddon Knight, send a copy of Destrudo to Graveyard, use Destrudo's effect to reborn itself, and go into Black Rose Dragon. We should have stayed on Dora. They'll pass it back to us, we draw for turn. Unfortunately, we can't special summon Pankratops if they don't do anything. They're going to start by activating Foolish Burial to send Destrudo once again before normal summoning a copy of Skarm and getting Destrudo back. Skarm will destroy itself so that end step they can get Tour Guide and they have a Destrudo on their side of the field. We draw into Xyz Reborn. Oh, here we go. One more turn. They're going to normal summon a copy of Tour Guide to get a copy of Sangan. They'll go into a copy of Nightmare Cerberus to destroy our Pankratops. We will chain the effect of Pankratops to destroy this copy of Destrudo. It shuffles back into the deck, and then afterwards they can get in directly for 1600 before passing it back and facing their demise at the hands of Precision German Engineering. We'll activate the effect of Liba and get in for... <laughs> that feels good. So that's that. As always, I appreciate your patience with regards to the Trinity pick and mixes. They're some of my favorite videos to make because Trinity is one of my favorite things to play. Again, links to the tournament are in the description and signups end the 13th. If you want to see me play the decks I make on this show on stream, I'm on twitch.tv slash mbtygo every Monday from 10 to midnight Eastern Standard Time. And if you have an idea for a certain deck or archetype you want to see on a future episode of this show, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I'll see you Tuesday.